G'day Power fans, we're here at uh, Dubai Sports City for our latest edition of Renault Team Talk featuring the great man here, Jarman Impey. Uh, first of all, a big thank you to Renault Dubai for this cracking polo shirt that I'm wearing here featuring the, uh, the brand new electric powered Twizy uh, car that they're promoting here at the moment. Uh, we've got the beautiful facility behind us, the, uh, the cricket ground and the indoor cricket centre over to the right there. So, uh, with, uh, out any further ado, let's crack into things. <laughs> All right, Jarman, uh, the first question here, mate, is from Corey uh, from Instagram. Uh, who has been your favourite AFL player that you aspire to be like? Um, I would have to say Chris Sharon. Uh, he's pretty exciting and uh, a bit of runoff half back, so I reckon I'm playing that role, hopefully. And um, yeah, I reckon it would be him. Yeah, can go forward and kick a snag too, so I reckon hopefully. you've got that in your, your repertoire as well. I hope so. Uh, Daniel asks on Instagram as well, um, do you do single or double knot when tying up your shoelaces? Um, when uh, they're long enough, I certainly do either double knot, I don't know why. Yep, very good mate, you've got a nice little double knot happening there at the moment, which is great. Uh, Jessica asks on Instagram, who are you most looking forward to playing with within the group? I reckon it would have to be uh, Tom Cleary, sort of. I played with him um, with the Bush Rangers, so it would be good to get a game with him, definitely. Uh, our Irish recruit uh, Daniel Flynn has asked on Instagram, why is six afraid of seven? Why is six afraid of seven? Because seven, eight, nine. <laughs> <laughs> very, very good, very good. Uh, Raman asks on Instagram, how fast can you run the 100 meter sprint? I ran 11.3 uh, a year ago on, on grass, so I yeah. haven't been on track yet, so beautiful. Yeah, Beautiful and uh, very nice step as well. He's very nice lateral mover. We uh, we saw that at train today. Impressive stuff. Uh, Baza asks on Instagram, what position do you play? Um, I don't know. I played uh, for the Vic Carnival. I played a bit of in the midfield, um, a bit down forward, and um, towards late in the season, a bit down back. So definitely like uh, the back one. So yeah, I reckon that would be it. Um, uh, I'm sure you'll. You slot in there at some stage, mate, and you can you can join the utility group with me and a few of the other boys that can just swing at both ends of the ground and maybe pinch it in the midfield as well, mate. Right, uh, Katie asks on Instagram, how was your first day of training in Dubai, and how was it meeting the rest of the team? Yeah, so I got off the flight on the first day, and I probably had five hours sleep, and um, was very very tired. And then we went to yeah the training session. It was yeah probably one of the hardest training sessions I've nearly had, I reckon. So. That was a big first day. And uh, fell asleep on the bus on the way out to dinner. I noticed you having yeah. a bit of a nap, mate, so caught up there a bit. Yeah, the boys told me not to sleep, just uh, try to wait till we get back and yeah, have a yeah, good hour of sleep there. But um, yeah, definitely I was tired as. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Summer asks on Instagram, which club did you support when you were younger? It was uh, the Richmond Tigers actually, so yeah, followed them since I was a young fella. And yeah, so, yeah. Tigers. Beautiful. Uh, and finally, Aiden asks on Instagram uh, if AFL didn't work out, what kind of work would you have gone into? Um, my dad's a builder, so I'd probably uh, do an apprenticeship with him and uh, yeah, be somewhere along there, I reckon. So, yeah, yeah be a builder, I reckon. All right, well, that's, uh, that's it for another edition of Renault Team Talk, the first one for uh, the upcoming season, is it? The no. second one for the upcoming season. Uh, once again, thanks to Dubai Sports City for the, uh, the facilities that we're training in. Uh, thanks to Jarman, it's been fantastic. And to Renault Dubai for these uh, magnificent polo shirts that uh, we've been blessed with and the great vehicles that they supply us as well.